We don't got time for that. This crew, this crew here is legit. They know what they're doing. They're gonna extort, extort, extort. You were an extra in Stratford. Take you right after he started running. They send one call now, correct? So they're looking for suspects that stole golf carts and cruised them around. Whatever the Eastern one is, I had no way to say it. Louis, fly back. Can we get from off at Stratford and Manchester? Yeah, you can pay for a trip or a manchester. No, Perito. They're going to take off. You're going to stay here? No, I'll go. Okay. Okay. I'll get outside. Okay. That way, uh, I'm live now, so... Do you want me to turn the corner? You want, you want me to handle the vehicle? Uh... I'm not sure. Most of these guys will be leaving. They're gone. Are they? I mean, we've. This is like our third location. Yeah. That we. I might get out and get some content. These doors are good. Nobody's not talking to me. Nah, -uh, he's just. I don't think he's talking to anyone. This is the Tucson Police Department. Surrender now, or you will be bitten. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what. Maybe this is not. Searching for a dangerous suspect. Please stay inside your home to avoid being bitten. Call 911 to report any suspicious activity. This is the Tucson Police K9 unit. Surrender now with your hands in the air to the nearest police officer. If you do not surrender, you will be bitten. Who is he talking to? I think it's just a replay. Blinding me with his light. That's real nice of him. Sounds pretty recorded to me. Huh? Yeah, uh, he's between. He's between these blocks. I'm gonna stand behind. They got the K9 unit. Yeah. Here we go. So these guys shine lights in our faces. Hey, hey quit shining lights in our face, man. You, you gonna chase me down, big boy? Quit shining lights in our face and just do what you're doing. Just do your thing. Leave us. We get it. We get it. So shut up and do your thing. Leave us alone. We, this is, hey, this is the dumbass that cornered me in the alley. This is the dumbass that cornered me in the alley right there. That's you. That's the one that cornered me in the alley. right now. Just leave us alone. Nobody said anything to you. Shut the fuck up, dude. You need to turn yours off. He's over here shining this shit in our face. He's a fucking dumbass. So am I, bitch. You're a fucking dumbass. Go. Hey, leave him alone. Leave him alone, Leave him alone. Hey. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Why'd you do that? You were warned. Why'd you beat me up? Why'd you beat me up? Get off the room. Get off the room. Help. Please stop hurting me. Get off of him. I'm not doing it. Motherfucker. I just break the law. Get a manager on the scene. We need a supervisor right. on this scene. Yeah. Fuck Get a team. manager on the scene. This is the same guy that cornered me in the alley and threatened me. Stand up. Oh my God. What are you guys doing to him? The fuck is wrong with you? Let him go, you fucking animals. Let him go, you fucking animals. Shut up. You 
already threatened enough fuck people, you fucking fuck piece of shit. Fucking bitch. You already threatened fuck enough you. people. Fuck you, Get the fuck, fuck, fuck out of here. Uh, hey, we need a sergeant over here. Back we need up. a sergeant over here. Hey, you're out of control. This is the second time, motherfucker. Back up. Everybody backs up. You back up. You need to back up. You guys back up. Hey, you back up. You get your fucking hands off me. Back up. You get your fucking hands off me. Back up. He's saying you're crazy. I'm keeping my camera on him. Back up. Keep the camera on him. That's fine. We already had a problem. You know I never fucking did anything to you guys until you started with that shit with me. No. No. Are you pushing me? Are you pushing me? Guys, you got a suspect to handle, man. An actual suspect. Yes, you guys a victim. Were in our way, trying to we weren't in your way. God damn, dude. He's shooting him with a fucking pepper gun now. He's fucking shooting him with his gun. Yeah, he just fucking pepper balled him like four or five times. <laughs> Nobody's gonna hurt you, just filming. Just watching you guys be violent thugs. He just told you to shot with a pepper ball, huh? Man, you guys. You had a suspect to deal with. And you're gonna assault the camera people. Hey, original suspect, you're free to run now. You got a suspect, and you're gonna fucking attack the news. Yep. You guys are animals. Okay, hey, someone got, someone's got bow, right? To a sergeant. Someone's got a camera back there. Hey, stay here, please. Don't come back, bow. Have him bit too? God, you guys are fucking animals. You got real suspects to deal with. You act like fucking animals. I'm right behind you. Hey, you know I'm not giving you any trouble. I never have. Don't give me no shit. No one's saying anything to you. Put, put in Just ask, ask you to give us some space. You're the one who harassed me in the alley, too, knowing damn well I wasn't who you were looking for. What's your name again? Peterson? All right. You know, there's nothing wrong with what he was doing. Hey, he's shining a light at us. They, the they were shining a light at us. He's in a factual spot. We need to be able to see, too. His lights are on. You need, we need to be able to see, too. You guys keep blinding our cameras with your lights. Our job is more important than yours in this moment. Your job is more important than mine? In this moment. Dude, you're, what you guys are doing is getting cops killed across the country. Sorry, let me get a shot. Let me get the shot. Okay. I get it. We didn't make this up. I know why you're here. I get it. Okay. Real victims. I get it. You guys were really trying to harass us. We, we were behind. We were behind. We were not. He was not behind. You were. That's the guy. The guy over there was shining lights in our eyes. He was over there shining lights in our eyes again. We good? All right. I don't want somebody coming up behind me, grabbing at me. Huh? Your people coming up. All right. This is why cops are getting killed across the country, man. You keep saying that. That's not exactly the case. Well, hey, cop, you can hang out there for a second. Absolutely. Help me! This one. This is a guy shooting people. Hey, uh, James, watch out for him. He's trigger happy. Yeah. Hey, easy, man. Okay, you can leave if you're uncomfortable. No, I'm. Are you threatening me to fucking leave? No. I haven't done anything to anybody. All right. Okay. I just record. Okay. I don't want to talk with you. I don't want to do nothing. Well, that makes two of us. So you're free to leave if you don't want. To. Are you me. trying to threaten me? Get the fuck away from me. No. Please, have him back up, please. No. No? You guys are a bunch of fucking animals. Okay, you can leave. If you don't like it. So you're trying to threaten me to leave. Did I say that? Yeah. It looks like it. You're in here. You get. You keep getting closer and closer and closer to me and saying you can leave. You can leave. Yeah. What if I came to your house and did that? I don't know. You don't know? No, I guess I don't. You don't. This isn't your house. You have no fucking idea where my house is. Do you live here? I'm not answering your questions. I know you don't live here. You don't? Yeah. You don't know anything. You're right. I How did I get here so quick if I don't live here? I don't know. You have I, no idea where I live, do you? 
No. So I might not live here, but I might live right there, huh? I don't think you. I don't think. And you. I might. And I might have heard some fucking animals out here attacking people and come out and recorded it. Is that what happened? I'm going to take two steps back because okay. you shouldn't be within six feet of me, right? Okay. And then you're going to stop approaching me and, and aggressively approaching me, right? No, I'm not. You're not going to stop aggressively approaching me. So you need to be. So you need to be two feet in front of me to to talk to me. That seems to be that way, doesn't it? What is that supposed to mean? You tell me, but you tell me. You're the one out here fucking shooting people. I thought you were gonna take your two steps back, dude. I'm gonna go to that side. There's a cactus. Yeah, watch out for the cactus. Shut the fuck up, you animal. You think it's funny? I do. What's your name? Frank. Frank. What's your first name? Frank. As far as what's your home address, Frank? Hey, get 1100 South Alvernon. 1100 South Alvernon. That's your home address? No. That's the address you can reach me at. Why don't you want to give your home address? Oh, that's super weird, isn't it? I don't know. You guys asked for my home address. I didn't ask for your home address. Homeboy over here that was here a minute ago did. Okay. You don't want to give it? Give your home address? I don't know your home address. Why do you want to give yours? Why would I give you my home address? Why not? What? So I can check you out and run you, see if you got anything. You got any warrants? How are you going to do that? I don't know. Okay. I haven't, I I haven't gotten to that point yet. I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. I know you will. I have faith in you. So what's your home address? I'm not going to tell you that. Why not? What do you got to hide from? You. Why? You're I'm not a violent guy. person. Happy. I'm a what? You're a big scary guy. <laughs> I'm not the one running around shooting what people and tackling them. Oh, 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 oh. Is, what about his lights? What, you what about his lights? I want these guys back. Yeah. Okay, back, back up. Where? Where to? All right. Back yeah. up. Hold on, hold on. No, cactus. There's no. a cactus right there. Let me I'm go not around it. Safely navigate the cactus. I have confidence in you. Keep going. Where are we going to? Keep All going that way. All the way that way. Keep yeah, going. What about, what about the truck? Keep going. Your truck's not part of our crime scene. You guys aren't going anywhere for a very long time. Let's go. Keep walking. Oh. Oh, they are caution taping our cars into a crime scene because uh, some thugs with badges and black uniforms assaulted someone. Keep going this way. Going All right, I'm going to get in the vehicle and... Nope, we're going to keep moving. It's not part of the crime scene. Thank you. Oh, why is that? You guys got involved yourself. Investigations. That's bullshit, man. That's bullshit and you know it. You know, two, you guys just keep making it worse and worse for yourselves. Keep making it worse and worse for yourselves. Guys, we need a lot of phone calls to Tucson Police Department. I'm not too sketched out about this guy. He doesn't seem to be triggered. So we... We're out here doing nothing but following. They're actually chasing. They're actually chasing a. Uh, you gotta admit that's a little excessive. Somebody's taking a few steps away for their safety. They're actually out here looking for suspects, real, real suspects. There's actually a victim. I wasn't here for that. But while we're recording, they decide to start attacking people. Stepping away from you for their safety. Are you gonna start there's a million, million facts that come in. I'm gonna make sure I lock the if you vehicle. If accuse them of a crime, there's a million. I'm gonna lock that vehicle. Oh, I, I agree. Yeah, lock that one. I'm gonna move up a little bit so I can be arranged oh, to lock that. Right here. They're, they're bringing crime scene tape right here. All right. Come on, let me lock the vehicle, dude. Yeah, really? I, I think it's locking, dude. No, it's. I'm I turn not, on the hazards. I'm not trying to give you a hard time, please. I know. So let me go like 20 feet so I can lock it. Dude, uh, the hazards are on. Truck? Huh? Yeah, it's the truck right there with the hazards on. Okay. I can't, I'm gonna walk up I until it until it locks. Enough tape right now. Dude, don't, don't be ridiculous. I'm not. Being I've never done anything to you guys. I'm not saying. You're and you guys keep I on doing shit to me. So, so when somebody breaks into my truck, whose fault is it going to be then? You can't let me walk up there 20 feet so that it'll lock? They're creating the crime scene, not taking off the crime scene. Remember. <clears throat> so they were actually chasing real suspects. There was a real victim in the crime that they were dealing with. But this uh, unit over here starts shining his light in everybody's it, eyes. It him. Frank, Officer Frank over there? Yeah. Give me his badge number. Well, That's uh, a trigger happy piece of shit. I know, Officer Frank is. Is Officer <laughs> Frank in marbles? That's for sure. So they're going to intentionally hold us here as long as possible now to punish us for recording their scene. And don't get me wrong, like I said, guys, they were, they were here. Uh, they're searching for real. So there's a real victim in a crime, and they're searching for him. So we kind of try to stay at a distance, record from behind, so that we're not getting involved. And this guy over here at this intersection starts shining his light in everybody's eyes. Um, and so uh, somebody shine their light back because it, it blinds the camera. We can't see where we're walking. So somebody turned the light on and that was it. Then they attacked the guy who turned the light on. Oh, don't forget about shot him with the pepper ball. Well, yeah, that was, yeah. After backing away for his own safety.
<clears throat> so they're gonna try and they, they're not gonna try to they're gonna quarantine this crime scene probably in the next six hours do you guys find the suspect yet do you know uh, like i said i have no idea all right they called more backup for the cameras or what nope did you get called for us or the actual suspect i just got called over that's why i got called all right what's your name Officer Schmidt, Schmidt. All right. Thanks, man. How old are you? I'm not going to put that up. Okay. That's fine. You got to just think you look young as shit for a cop. You can agree? Yeah. So they've been trying to do this for like the last half hour, though, because, again, we, we follow these, these scenes around to get coverage of what's going on. And you guys know that, you know, some people talk a little more, but I just, I just follow and record. Well, they had the helicopter. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm talking to the live stream. <laughs> so they got the helicopter shining the light on our truck. And, you know, every time we see a cop, we pull over. We make sure that we're out of the way, we're out of the way. Lights on or not, out of the way. Uh, but, and so then the helicopter starts shining the light on our truck. And then they say, oh, we got a truck with four people in it and blah, blah, blah. Trying to act like we're part of the scene when they know the truck because it pulls up on all kinds of uh, calls. They, they've called out the red, red truck. They've ran the plates and called it out a hundred times. They know who it is. They know that I'm just recording. They know that while some guys, you know, have a lot to say. Or do. I don't say or do anything except watch until they get crazy. And then I say, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. So now they've taped off the entire area and they've decided that the... Uh, that our vehicles, none of the other vehicles that have been driving through the neighborhoods, which there's a lot. There's a lot of vehicles that have been driving through the neighborhoods and none of those are part of the crime scene now. But they've taped off this entire area where we parked at and said, well, your vehicle is now part of the crime scene and it's not going anywhere. So first off, let's get some, let's get a sergeant out here. Is there a sergeant here? There is. There is. Can, can we get him to come and talk to us about... He's not going to come and talk to you right now. He's got to deal with the use of force and all that stuff going on down there. Okay. I'll definitely let him know we get on top of him. And let him know we just want to get our property away from... Sorry. Absolutely. Away from here. We'll try, to, we'll try to get it up as soon as you guys can get out of here. Or whatever you got. I mean, honestly, we're staying anyways. <laughs> For a while. We're with you guys. I mean, this is what I do. I just follow and record. So. But you know that's pretty fucked up. So say if, if I were to have Try a... Try quarantining our, our vehicles in there. not to be... All right, I'm going to let you know it's not to be spiteful towards anything like you. When we have runners, we got to quarantine a giant area. Yeah. Because when people start running, they start ditching dope, they start ditching guns. So we got to... Oh. All this stuff, so now we can backtrack where he ran through and see what's going on. It's not to punish you guys for showing up or anything like that. I kind of... car would have been past that stop sign, our tape still would have been right here. I kind of don't believe it. I, I, I'll take what you said and I'll, I'll check it. it I'll, I, I appreciate you telling me that. I'll check up on it and... See what uh, see what other cops think about it. We've got a couple of cops in Tucson police that give feed us information. So, I mean, they're, 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 they're a few decent guys in there. I mean, better than decent. They're really good guys. And they feed us information when stuff like this happens. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you'll be one of them someday. Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> bad cops? No, uh, I don't know. The not really full of bad cops. It, well, well, I mean, I... It's not full of bad cops, but there are... I and mean, we saw one, Frank. We saw another guy uh, shining his light in everybody's yeah. eyes. The whole, like, you guys can do this, but we aren't allowed to is nonsense. So That's got to go. We understand there's certain things we, we can obviously can't do, but if I'm shining a light at you to try and get a visual on you, I can do that. If you, well, you can shine a light on me, you're getting a visual on me. It's, just, it's two-way street. I've never... And we get tyrants, and that's how we need to get rid of tyrants. He's never... He's never uh, shined a light on anybody who didn't shine a light on him. And it's blinding, you know? When you got a light on you, you got to turn on your own. Yeah. But this, I forgot this one. Yeah. Yeah. Give me a second, guys.
Frank? Or whatever. Yeah, that's Frank. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's Frank. Right. Right. I can't believe we all ran away from Bao while they were chasing the other one. Uh, he's, Did he? Well, he came back and I kind of yelled at him to go stay with Bao. Is Tuck on the other side of the tape? He's got to be. Because he was on the other side of you behind those three cops that tried to intimidate you. Well, I'll tell you this. If there's anybody else out in Tucson, we could use some backup right now. Well, is about to get smacked in the mouth if you don't keep it down. There's a lot of people on this, actually. Okay, um, so we are at the corner of Stratford Croydon. and Croydon. C-R-O-Y-D-E-N. Stratford, S-T-R-A-F-F-O-R-D, Stratford. I'm sorry, Stratford, not Stratford, Stratford. And Croydon, C-R-O-Y-D-E-N, Stratford and Croydon. And I'm not sure what the other intersection is down there. Stratford and Croydon. Tucson area. Yeah, Frank is, they, you know, they had real suspects that they needed to, to yeah. catch, too. They, they were working so hard on that. And, they just and even the, the, the dude on that, the canine unit on that street was like, hey, guys, back up. And we're all like, cool, yeah. no problem. And then homeboy over here wants to come to the door. He was great. <clears throat> Pull up that big old dick and let it just drop on the ground. they really stalk me. Uh, I don't think so. No, no vehicles have moved. Well, he's in this one. He'll probably get released. Who? Uh, uh, El Charo? Yeah. He's in this one? Uh, he's in this, I believe this one with the lights off. Or he's on that one with the lights off. Oh, down the, off. down the street there? Yeah, these. Uh, so they arrested two, well, They've got two in cuffs out here. One is uh, Bao. They were blinding us with their lights. <clears throat> when Bao shined his light back at them, they attacked him. Bow. 
Medic's coming for bow. Oh yeah, they're down there. I can't see because I'm afraid to shine my light for, you know, it's dark out here. But if you shine your light, then they'll attack you. If you illuminate and you can see where you're going, they're gonna attack you. PD has just been building up to this though, you know? I mean, there, there's never any accountability anywhere. And that's for any department anywhere, but TPD is realizing it. Well, they know that there's nothing's gonna happen to them. Not only that, but they'll be they'll be praised with from within. Oh yeah. Oh, you're the one who tackled that motherfucker? Oh, good job. Hell yeah, high fives around the department. It can't come close to us? Yeah. No, dumbass, we're still gonna do it. So since they didn't tape off anything here, can we do it? <laughs> they, they already proved how violent they are tonight. Oh yeah. So the, the guy that ran after and tackled Bow is the same guy that cornered me in the alley. Yep, I recognize him. You guys are uh, gonna become friends, I guess. You guys keep hanging out. Yeah. I suppose. I haven't even been looking at the chat. Said the paramedics won't give him water. I need some water too. Hey, do you have any water, man? I know, I'm sorry. Alright. What about liquor? <laughs> <laughs> you Noli know, D, thanks for putting the number out there for uh, Tucson. Uh, yeah, we're at the uh, corner of Stratford and Croydon. Thank you, Nolly D. Closest cross streets, Broadway and Tucson. Closest cro cross street is Broadway and Tucson? Thanks. Damn, I can't even get to it. So how many weapons did they deploy? I saw pepper balls. He fired pepper balls and that was it. But he fired about eight or nine balls. So that guy's vehicle is not quarantined. Him? Uh, that GMC Jimmy right there? That one right there. Yeah. yeah, that is not quarantined. Although it's in the area. Does that make sense? So the only vehicles that are quarantined are ours. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure he ran right through there where that guy is walking. Yeah. But that vehicle's not quarantined. Only ours are. Yeah, they got medical for bow. I can't even get around to the other street going this way. These are this is the last street. These all go that way. But they won't uh, they won't give him water, he says. I need water too. And which one did you say El Charles? He's I down here. And there's one that's yeah, that off. Or the one in the, with the headlights facing Yeah, Frank just wanted to hurt somebody. Yeah, he, he kept pushing him. He kept pushing him. Put the gun, like, right up to his dick. Like, yeah. you know, like, backing him up like that. With yeah. this thing right there. Like, I mean, it was just disgusting. I can't believe how quick he fucking fired ridiculous. those balls, dude. Like, yeah. it went from zero to, you're lucky this isn't a real gun or you'd be dead, you piece yeah, of shit. I wasn't Very sure bad. if he was tasing him or if he was, uh... The pepper balls. The pepper ball. Fucking walk by him. Either way, that shit sucks. Both of them suck. Oh, yeah. Look at their tuckers. They're looking inside of... they pushed him back on that side. Yeah, he's on the other side, but he's by himself over there. Yeah. Which means that we probably ought to pull up Nav and walk over to the other side. I just looked at it. There's nothing this way. What, that way? Yeah, I mean, there's a street, but it comes off and then goes along it and then goes back to the road. There's got to be another way to get to that side. 
It's all the way down in the streets. Yeah. Oh, that's what you were already looking for, huh? Yeah, it's exactly. Because yeah. I was wanting to walk around and go. Is Tuck live? Do you, can you look up uh, Tuck? I wasn't live, so. Oh, okay. Tuck police suck. They're looking in his vehicle right now. In his? Mm-hmm. His vehicle's right here, though. Yeah. Look at, he's got a flashlight in it right now. Oh, yeah, shit, I didn't even see him. Like, what do you think you're going to find in there? Wait until one of them tries to steal my vest out of your truck. Oh, my gear. They're just trying to cause as much problem as they can. It's not illegal. Oops. Hold on, let me get my other camera going. Nobody in it. Responsibility to put it down. I don't think it's up though. There's nothing on it. Yeah, I mean, it's not up. Uh, I don't Might think. want to move the vehicle then. Right it's your responsibility to keep it closed. Well, I mean, it's federal crime. No, it's not. It no, it's not. Shut the hell up. Yeah, it's cute. What you Shut the hell up, dude. It's not a fucking federal crime. If we can see it in public, we can film it. Oh, fucking dumbass. dumbass. <laughs> so. See? What about this one? So you shine lights in vehicles and it's okay, but you get upset when other people do it? Uh, this guy screams off. There's nobody in there, right? No. There's nobody in it. Just traffic cones. See how fucking quick he got mad? Tucson police officers that I think are working this shift, but I can't call them while I'm uh, live on this device. Agua. Isn't it uh, illegal to refuse somebody water in Arizona? Yeah, it is, I believe. It really is. Didn't they? Uh... I'm almost positive it's illegal to refuse somebody water. Hey, do you guys know if the medics refused him water? No idea. Can we make sure? Can we? Can we, we... Out? Can we make sure he gets the water? You got radios, buddy. I know it. Well, I'm sure you know it's illegal to refuse somebody water. So if they're doing some illegal shit over there, then we need some uh, cops to go investigate. For real, though, can you get him some water or say it over the radio? I'd rather not be a dick about... I mean, it's just water. Somebody some water. 
Yeah. It's just water. We're working on it. Okay. All right. Uh, do they not have any on them? I just think that's quite a thing to work on. Yeah. I mean, I mean is it like... It, how long? You got to get it shipped in? What's the shipping on water nowadays? Where does it come from? China. feeling we're going to be out here until the sun comes up. Um, is there... It's not illegal to refuse to give someone water. It's immoral and unkind. Well, actually, I think in Arizona... In Arizona, it is 100% illegal to give somebody water. I'm almost positive they've got a code or a statute in Arizona that says you can't refuse someone water. Yeah. I'm almost positive there's a code or statute in Arizona. Not that, you know, codes and statutes are really law. And you're right, it's it's not about whether it's illegal, it's about whether it's right or wrong. But when we're dealing with people that, you know, shine their lights in people's faces and then say, if you do it to me, I'm going to tackle you. Yes. They refused him two times, says Bitcoin Hunter. Then again, they denied him safety and freedom. Right, so yeah, I don't think. Then again, I don't think they give a fuck if he has water or not. If he's a little bit parched. I seriously need some water too, though. Cops sitting at the car. Well, that was a. He was tackled by a guy, so. Yeah. I'm assume arrested. And he was tackled because there was a guy blinding us all with this really bright light on the side of his car. You know that one that they can turn? Blinding us all. And uh, so somebody shined a light back at him and from there it was on. tackle him and said only we can shine lights in people's faces because we're tactical uh, there is no no statute but if you're a parent you have to give it to your kid and if you're an employer you have to give it to your employees well what if you have somebody okay that probably will if you got somebody in custody then then yeah then i would because as a parent you're you're the custodian over your children and you guys got any chalks i know you got chalk i want to play hopscotch Board. Yeah, so they shine lights in your face and then they say, if you do it to us. It's a federal crime. Yeah. typical Tucson police behavior. In Tucson, there's no statute that states it's illegal to refuse water to someone else in the state. That's interesting, though, because if you're an employer and refuse your employee water, it's, there's no statute for it. So we'll probably be out here till the sun comes up. Or later. that 
they're not going to let him go. That's not how they do it. It has to go to the prosecutor first, and the prosecutor is the one who says, oh, you fucked up. And then they still sometimes try to prosecute it, like they've done with uh, Tuck. Um, now, depending on the, situ- on the situation and the prosecutor, some of the prosecutors here in Tucson are halfway decent at throwing out cases with no PC. Yeah. But when there's something like this where you're going to have physical damages and all that kind of stuff, I could see them trying to be like Sloppy Joe and trying to prosecute people with no PC for two years. Yeah. Just to push off the lawsuit that's coming down on these fuckers for this shit. Um, and, you know, it's, it's hard to get a lawyer to take a lawsuit. Especially when it's against someone. But, I don't know, there might be a chance on this one. I'm not saying they will, but I think they're... they're extortion watchers says slam dunk lawsuit. Well, that's how you and I see it, but the truth is, it's actually hard to find a lawyer. Now, I think this one... I think there's a better chance that a lawyer will take this, especially for... Actually, both of them, for El Charo and for Tuck. Or, uh, Val. But still, there's there's really no telling. Is Lawyers are trash. And so, uh, I mean, Tuck has filed his lawsuits on his own. And they've got some, uh, they've got Vernon, who just laid down his bar membership like a year or two ago. And Tuck's trying to get him to pay up his fees. All, you gotta, all he's got to do to be a bar member again is pay his fees, but he doesn't want to. He'll file lawsuits. He'll, he'll uh, or I'm sorry, he'll help people do all the paperwork to file lawsuits, but he doesn't want to be a bar member. And if you're doing it on your own, you got to realize it's a lot of work. Like, it's not just... So that Frank guy is a Frank bad out cop. Of okay. He's a bad cop. I'm gonna have to go back and get his badge. You know what I think really sucked about that Dallas shooting? Is that he shot five random cops. They were random. You should never shoot somebody randomly. blocked on here already. I don't know how I didn't preemptively block you before you ever came and made a comment. You're not on my channel much, though, I know. I know you don't really hang out here much, so...